the topic on the mind of so many parents and students after countless school shooting tragedies across this country, gun violence. Everyone is looking for answers, and one new proposed solution wants to use school principals to get to the root of the problem. And joining us now from Pittsburgh to discuss this new initiative is U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona. Good to see you, Mr. Secretary, and thanks a lot for being with us. We appreciate it. Good afternoon. Glad to be with you. So how does it work and what makes it different? Well, look, we know uh, gun violence is the leading cause of our youth in this country. Uh, over 3,600 lives are lost a year. That's alarming. And um, I was reminded at a, at a visit to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida by the parents and family of those who were murdered that we all have to do more. So for me as a as a lifelong educator I know that school principals are trusted messengers in the community and while the last thing I want to do is put this on school principals. I'm asking all educators but in particular principals to think about ways we could lift up uh, safe gun storage to protect lives. So what kind of resources does this provide to schools? It's really a, a, an acknowledgement that uh, school principals uh, and, and district leaders are those trusted messengers in communities. We have form letters that they could make their own and, and share in the community. We have strategies such as convening leaders. You know, it could be church leaders, it could be the, the chief of police, it could be the mayor, parents, just to come together to come up with solutions. Again, the expectation is not that school principals solve this, but the reality is. DeMarco and Ava, school principals for far too long have been dealing with the trauma of gun violence. In my opinion, and as educators, I'd rather work to increase our strategies on prevention versus the trauma management. It was about a year ago that I was reading an article in the uh, New York Times about gun violence in the kids, and uh, something that was alarming that I read, it said uh, gun violence surpassed car accidents as the leading cause of death for American children. So is it really the responsibility of principals and superintendents to solve this, or should the government be the ones who are responsible? You know, again, walking through uh, the high school in Parkland and, and talking to family members, there is no one magic solution here. It's everyone doing more. And uh, I believe, as a former school principal, that you know, m minor strategies like bringing people together to have these conversations and let the group come up with best strategies is one way to do it. But we also believe we shouldn't have assault weapons in the hands of kids. We believe that uh, safe uh, gun storage will prevent a lot of these deaths. Three quarters of the school shootings that happen in our country happen when students have access to a weapon lying around in the in their home. It's a family member's gun. So there are common sense strategies that we have to take that can save lives. 3,600 lives a year is too many lives. We can prevent many of those deaths. Okay, let's talk about the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Two billion dollars earmarked for mental health services and school. How is this money going to help make schools safer? Yeah, that's a great question, and I'm really proud of that work. Uh, this bipartisan bill, uh, as you mentioned, put $2 billion for our schools to increase the number of school social workers, school counselors, uh, mental health professionals, but it also provided dollars for schools to strengthen their school safety plans, create protocols, do what I'm asking school principals to consider doing now, which is come up with strategies to provide uh, safety equipment for the community so that we have less guns coming into our schools. The dollars are needed, but the partnership is also needed. And, and this is my call to, to education leaders across the country that, look, as Secretary of Education, um, I need to step up also to make sure that I'm using my voice to protect the lives of children. I want that across our country. Mr. Secretary, we've seen so many programs and plans uh, implemented, so many initiatives put in place uh, to prevent school shootings and gun violence, and we're still seeing school shooting after school shooting. So what's really changing? Right. Well, again, access to mental health support is increasing. Um, we do need, in, in addition, you know, sensible gun safety legislation. I, I believe banning assault weapons could help prevent many deaths. I, I toured 
that high school and I saw that in just a matter of seconds many lives were lost because someone had an assault weapon that they shouldn't have. So it's not just the awareness or the prevention measures or the mental health support that's going to solve this or make the uh, data better. We do need better legislation, but I I'm going to be very frank with you, DeMarco. I can't sit around and wait uh, for a magic uh, you know, legislation to happen to, to provide prevention. We all have to step up. Uh, you know, the families of the, of the murdered in Parkland reminded, we all have a role to do. We all have to step up. And it is concerning that uh, the number one cause of death in youth is uh, gun violence. So that's why we're bringing attention to it. That's why the Office for uh, Gun Safety and Gun Violence Prevention at the White House was created so that we could attack this head on. We need to do this. We're talking about children's lives here. All right, U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it, and please come back. Of course. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.